very much for being part of GeoScreen. Uh, in your views, subscriptions, comments, likes, yes. And uh, please remember to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed by hitting the subscription button at the bottom right here. And uh, yeah, today we are going to look on how to calculate distance between two geographic coordinates here. Yeah? How to calculate the distance mathematically, right? So an example is point A to point B, right? So uh, we have the distance already here. We can get it from Google Earth by using our ruler and then we measure the distance yeah so from point A to point B by the use of our ruler we are getting uh, 234.5 let's say 0.5 right so that's the distance from A to B right so let's assume that you have no access to Google Earth and you have the two coordinates, right? A and B. And your coordinates uh, are in meters, right? This is a new TM, right? You can check on the properties here, the units of your points. So you'll find that it's a universal traverse marketer, that is your TM. And the units are in meters. So you have from point A and point B, you need to get the distance without using the Google Earth but by calculating yeah mathematically right so it's from point a to point b we are going to have our calculations as follows uh let's use this our map pen here so it's from point a right to point b right that's how it is so uh a is made up of X and a Y. Yeah. B is made up of X and a Y. This is the longitude, latitude, longitude, latitude, right? So to get the distance here, this is C. You have to remember a formula which goes by uh, something like this here, right? So let's say you want to get the distance c so to get c if this is a and this is b you need c will be given by square root of a squared plus b squared right so that's it that's it this is the same formula we are going to use to get the distance from point A and B because this is an hypotenuse so to get it you have to get the change in Y right and change in X right and this one these changes will be given by these points here because we have a change in Y change in X so to approach this we'll start by getting change in x right which will be a right this is change in x we have change in x let's donate it by uh, x minus and change in y right so to get c we are going to have square root of change in x squared plus change y squared right so that will give us the distance from point a to point b that's an hypotenuse so we have c as change x that is we have our points as from the google app we have them as the that is a Right, A is 30, 98, 48, 98, 60, 6, 2, 4. So we have, it is A, X in A minus X in B, right? That is change in X, and then change in Y, 
it is changing the y a minus the y in b right so this is what we are having uh, change in x that is uh, 30 98 right 48 right minus 30 99 32 right so this one squared plus change in y will be 98 60 these ones are from google Earth, plus from wherever you could have picked them maybe using a gps plus from maybe someone who has sent the points to you right so we have 624 minus 98 Sixty four zero five squared as well, right? So this one, once you solve it, it will be eighty four squared. That's a minus eighty four squared. So if you square it, the minus is going because minus times the minus is a plus, right? So plus two hundred and ninety squared, right? So this one gives square root of seventy fifty six plus forty seven nine sixty one, right? So our C is square root of fifty five zero one seven. This is summation of this. So the square root of this that is C now we get two three four point five five meters right to that 4.55 meters so that is the distance from point a to b and we have calculated using the given coordinates the coordinate of a to the coordinate of b right these are the coordinates so you get the change in as in the change in x is x in a minus x in b plus y in a minus y in b so you proceed get the squared get them squared then you sum the results get the square root then you have the distance right so 3.8 right thank you